So this is supposed to be a box car. This is my first revision. And one of the challenges that I had with it was I wanted to be able to replace the blade or the teeth. So how do I do that? So I had a lot of ideas and what I came down to is actually two different methods. Um, both of them call upon some traditional methods that Hawaiians would use to lash the teeth, which is pegging. So this one here, you can see it just comes up as an inset, and then this just pulls out. And then the teeth is removed. One of the challenges though is getting the teeth back in. <laughs> Alright, the other thing is I wanted to test how good they were and what type of cuts I could do with them. Uh, so I have paper, I've got, what is this, a 1x2, it's a 1x2, got a wooden dill, dowel, good old ballistics gel, and some carpet. So one thing that's nice with this is because it's not lashed in place like you see teeth are if I break one it's easy to replace so I'm gonna get pretty aggressive with this one <laughs> so this was my revision 2 so there's some differences with this one one of the things that you'll notice is my tolerances here are a lot closer than they are here um, part of the reason for that is because I have this a little bit deeper inset and here I'll show you so mechanical on this one this one however instead of a single pin is a double pin and to pull it out I have lashed this now this is kind of tight so it's a little bit of a challenge to pull it out but it does pull out so you see how large that is and the main reason for that is how wide the base of the tooth is so on every tooth this is bull shark this is tiger shark. On every tooth, there's the root of the tooth. Can't really see that, it's kind of blurry. And then there's the enamel. Uh, I try to drill through the root. I've noticed that if I ever drill through the enamel, it makes the entire tooth brittle. But we're gonna test with some of these. So I'm gonna do some basic testing with this one. I'm not gonna take this one to such an extreme test, primarily because this is a giveaway and I don't wanna break the teeth on this one because I don't wanna have to remake them. <laughs> uh, one of the things you'll notice though is that on the tiger shark, I have it going down and then on the bull shark, I have it going up. Uh, when I was testing, I noticed that this direction cut better, and then I actually tested both of these against cardboard to see which one made a better box cutter. And the bull shark one, you can actually see I cut my hand a couple times. I don't know if you can see that because I was holding the teeth by hand. Probably not the best idea. All right. Let's start testing. So first, actually, we're gonna put this off to the side. My refills. All right. So first, let's do a couple. Control tests. Right here is a pretty clean section. So that is a pretty good cut. So this is ballistics gel. So this would just, ooh, ooh. That would slice. I mean, very little effort. See if I can get that up closer. Nice. 
Uh, let's do a paper test. This is not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think so. It's not. When you go fast, it works better. But just as a. It just doesn't cut paper. Alright. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can carve with it. And then once I've gone through different tests, from there I'm going to test again on the ballistics. This is just a pummel that I have at the end. I wonder if I can puncture. Yeah, a little bit. So that is pretty impressive. Check that out. And here's the wood. Just cutting right in. I wonder how it's going to do. But I could cut this thing. going right in. This stuff is pretty tough. I wonder if I can... I want to break these. That is impressive. I think I could... So, I am cutting through this. You see that? Well, let's get this. I don't even see any damage. I see no damage on that tooth. Let's bring it back over here. These were my control tests. Oh. Nothing. All right, let's try this now. I'm gonna slice along this. Ooh, look at that. So that's just cutting right through. I wonder, this is a dead blow hammer. I split it. I need some bigger wood. All right, here's a broken. What is that? Two by three? I think it's a two by three. So that's going cross grain. Oof. 
as deep. Let's see. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh! Finally broke it. So that finally broke. But man, is that a lot of force. I mean, that's wedged in there. So I, I pulled it up like this. That, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, the teeth aren't meant for that type of strain. Um, they clamp down. Alright, tooth number two. this a little bit. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Boom. I love this. Let's do So see that? That's with a brand new tooth. It just doesn't cut as good. You see the difference between that cut? this cut. I, mean, I got a little bit of folding on this crease. So that cut is so clean. Oh, look at that. Uh, this also cuts on here pretty clean. I mean, had some cardboard on there. Love it. Let's try this other one. This other one has a little bit sharper of a point. Good. As a box cutter, doesn't work as good. As a knife, this works just fine. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be giving away this one in a free raffle. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, comment, what you would like me to test on next with shark teeth or any other Hawaiian weapons and leave a like on my Instagram. Mahalo!